Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I know y'all probably a lot of y'all got a million questions. And people keep bugging me everywhere. Uh, I appreciate everyone's concerns. However, I'm still not feeling well. Um, new update. Last night when I went to bed, before I went to bed, something just told me in the back of my mind, just check my bathroom cabinets to see if I had a rapid test for, for COVID. So... I did a, a rapid test last night, waited 15 minutes after I swabbed both of my nostrils. Lo and behold, that th that joker came back positive. I didn't even realize I had COVID. That's why I was feeling so bad the other night. So now that it's been legit certified as COVID, I'm at the VA now. And I'm going to go in here and let them run every test out the books since it's free. <laughs> Shout out to the VA. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't feel like being in here tonight when I could be in my precious bed. I've had a long day, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I've been running around ragged. I didn't eat nothing all day because I was just feeling so bad. Then when I barely just got dinner about an hour ago from Jason's Deli, I got me like a little grilled cheese sandwich and, uh, I ate me a fire roasted tortilla shoot. But y'all, I think now... Since my lungs are hurting and my back and my and my chest has been still hurting me all day, I might have pneumonia. Fingers crossed I don't have that mess. But I'm getting some chest x-rays done tonight because I'm going to tell them to run every test in the book to rule that out to make sure it's just COVID. Because I like to get second opinions from actual doctors. I don't just like to go by a rapid test just to say, oh, you got COVID. Like, no. But, yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I had that rapid test that told me everything I needed to know about my myself today. But, um, man, I've been through such a dilemma. It's been a wild goose chase. First of all, when I was taking my bath last night and I was soaking in my tub, my phone was next to me. I was listening to YouTube. And mind you, I had an iPhone 11. It was old as, any, as hell anyway. Water accidentally got to it. And they say iPhones are waterproof. Ha, huh, that's a lie iPhones are not waterproof, okay? I didn't have no rice to put my phone in. My phone was gone. It wouldn't come back on. It kept flashing. So I said, screw it. I'm going to get me a new phone. So I looked on my laptop, see where the nearest Apple store was that actually had the iPhone that I wanted. I ended up getting the iPhone 14. It's a very nice phone, by the way. And I lost more money on that because I paid full price. I ain't telling you what I paid. Just know that it was an arm and a leg and it was more than my car note. Put it that way. <laughs> um, I was not thrilled to pay full price. Normally, I would get the carrier monthly plan to pay off the phone like Verizon, AT&T, or even Boost. But I don't like Boost. I don't care for Boost Mobile. But um, since I wasn't eligible for any of the carrier plans because I'm not an existing customer of those plans... I had no choice but to stick with Spectrum Mobile, who is my current carrier. And Spectrum Mobile is cheap. In case y'all don't know, it's only $55 a month if you're a Spectrum customer. You can just be an internet customer. You don't have to have cable, and you can get Spectrum Mobile. You get the discounted plan. It's really nice. But sometimes the signal is kind of shoddy, depending on what area and what city you're in. But anyway, the fever is gone. That's the plus side, but the bad side is that the COVID is here now. I'm glad the fever is gone. The Tylenol knocked that out the other night. Thank God. And um, let's see, what else? Fever has gone. I'm still in pain. The chills are gone. I don't have chills running down my spine. I guess that's a good sign. My nose is stopped up. I've been coughing up mucus all day. I need to get Mucinex. That's what I forgot to grab. And Dayquil. It's just more money flying out the window. And I'm going to tell y'all, the only thing that disappointed me when I bought this brand new iPhone today. Didn't nobody tell me that when you buy the newer upgraded iPhones, they don't come with a, a charging adapter, like a wall adapter where you plug in your phone to the wall. Yeah, it only comes with the cord. They didn't give me no headphones. I remember iPhones used to give you the headphones or the earbuds and the wall charger with your, with your wire adapter. Not anymore. All you get, baby, is a USB. And I don't like the uh, the USB adapter that it came with now because the newer models have what's called a USB-C as in Charles, USB-C, which is a very difficult 
plug-in outlet is very hard to find. So I had to go to Best Buy, get me a wall adapter just to charge my phone to a wall. And because I know I'm going to be in this hospital all night, I'm probably not going to get out this hospital till midnight. That's why I decided to go ahead and record this video while I'm in the car since I have signal. Thank God for 5G. Um, outside of the wall adapter, got my little glass protector and got my little hard case covering to cover the back and the front because I ain't got time for a brand new iPhone to get cracked. I got smarter this time. I got the Apple Care Plus plan for like any type of damage like water. If I break my phone, I ain't got to buy me a brand new iPhone. They can replace it free of charge. So yeah, lesson learned. If y'all ever get a brand new iPhone, God forbid you drop that sucker in water, you break it, anything, get the Apple Care Plus monthly plan. It's only $7.99 a month. Okay? It's very cheap. And I think it has a three-year warranty, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that, or a limited warranty. I can't remember. But anyway, I was in and out the Apple store within 30 seconds by the grace of God. I was surprised how quick they were when I got my iPhone earlier today. I had to drive all the way to the south side of Fort Worth, which is about 40 minutes from my home, just to get to the damn store. That wasn't fun either. The traffic, oh, uh, I didn't see traffic because I took the toll, but on the way back, traffic was massive. But I waited till traffic died down because I was eating my food in the car because I don't want to eat my food in this nasty hospital. I don't like eating stuff in the hospital. But anyway, um... I've been zipping and zooming, zipping and zooming, getting medicine, getting devices, and and it's just been a hot mess. It's just been a wild goose chase, but um, that's pretty much my current situation. I'm alive and well, not really. <laughs> now, I wouldn't necessarily say well, but um, yeah, I'm in a lot of chest pain and back pain right now. My lungs are killing me right now. Um besides that um yeah that's pretty much it i'm wearing masks oh that's another thing if y'all don't have no flu mask i would highly suggest y'all buy some because i'm starting to see more and more sick people out here i got me a box of face masks from cvs pharmacy okay just to show y'all I, I ain't bullshitting with this sickness flying around because i don't know how i caught covid but i'm assuming when i've been picking up people on my little side hustles on uber and lyft i think i may have caught it in passing from somebody in my car that's the only reason i can think of somebody giving me covid but because i've never had it since the pandemic started and now that i've gotten it I've, i'm feeling every bit of it it's not fun but i've been constantly switching out my mask i got a whole bunch of sanitizer like i'm not playing out here people are looking at me funny i don't care i'm being safe than sorry okay I don't care, but yeah, my throat is sore. My ears are hurting. My ears have been popping all day. It's been a mess, y'all, and and uh, they only gave me prednisone in case y'all wondering what kind of steroids I got. Prednisone don't do nothing. I'm going to be honest. Prednisone is supposed to strengthen the vitamins and stuff in your body, but it all it does is just makes you gain weight, but anyway, outside of the prednisone and the little allergy pearls for the cough and cold that they gave me nothing is helping obviously that's why i'm back in the er um but yeah uh, i just said let me go ahead and get these x-rays done because i need to make sure there's no more inflammation because i feel a lot of inflammation in my back and i feel a lot of inflammation in my lungs like i can breathe normally as y'all can see but my my chest is like really heavy like i feel like somebody hit my back with a thing of bricks it's not fun right now. And even as I'm sitting in this car talking to y'all in this video, I'm still in pain. It may not sound like it, but I'm in a lot of pain, yes. And I've just been eating soup all week. I'm just sticking to soups just to be safe, you know what I mean? That fire roasted tortilla soup was really good that I just had from Jason's Deli. It's very healthy. Anything with spice or like something like with ginger, turmeric or anything like that, is really healthy especially when you're sick it opens up your pores in case y'all didn't know but anywho it's, it's this video is almost 10 minutes long i'm sorry for this long video i'm about to get up in here because it's almost 10 o'clock i don't feel like being here all night but i'm probably gonna be in here all night because i don't know how many people are in this weight room fingers crossed 
that this waiting room is not packed because if it's packed i'm gonna be here probably till tomorrow morning <laughs> because when i say they take their sweet time they take their sweet time at the va this is why i don't go to the va hospital but the beauty of it is that i don't have no co-pays it's free since i'm a veteran shout out to all the fellow veterans um if i hadn't said this already i want to thank all of you for your kind words and your comments thank you for all of your prayers um and in case y'all have not seen any responses don't think that i'm ignoring any of y'all i just been resting i hit the like button to let y'all know i've seen your comment okay but i've been reading <laughs> I'm, I'm, i've been reading everyone's stuff so don't feel like you're being ignored. Your voices are not ignored. I really appreciate that. I thank you so much. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I will holler at y'all probably tomorrow morning and let y'all know what's up once I get these x-rays done. Just tell, see what they're going to they're gonna tell me. But um, yeah, y'all be safe out there. And I mean sanitize. Get Lysol spray get some sanitizer. I, I'm preaching. Like, I'm so serious. I sanitize the mess out of my car again. I sanitize all surfaces and door handles. I'm not playing. I'm bleaching everything down in sight. I'm not playing right now. But y'all have a good night. Y'all take care. Peace.